What's the difference between an externality and externalization of harm? Because you do hear both of these being used in economics, and they sound kind of interchangeable, and I'm somewhat fine if people use them interchangeably, but there is a subtle difference here. So with externalities, it's the thing that's being imposed on somebody else is a side effect of the main event. And the main event basically has actors who are part of the decision. So like in a supply and demand situation in a market, the suppliers and the demanders both have a say, at least they have a say in the collective intelligence sense of it. They're, they're, their decisions are playing in with how this market plays out. But because this market is doing whatever it's doing based on these people's decisions, there's a side effect that it affects somebody who has no say in that market and no ability to, to have their voice involved in the collective decision process. Now, externalities, of course, can be negative side effects or positive side effects. Both of those are fine. But the key here is really that these actors are really kind of unaware and not thinking about this at all. That's just a side effect. Whereas with externalization of harm, um, the externality is actually strategic. Now, just because it's strategic does not mean that it is deliberative. It does not even mean that the people who are doing it are aware that they're doing it. Like there could be an evolutionary process where it's just that the companies that make this decision, they grow. The companies that make the other decision, they shrink. And maybe they don't realize that you're growing because you're taking in the benefits to yourself and externalizing the harms. So this does not require evil actors. It does not require intention at all. And I would actually even argue that for the most part, I think the people doing this are not aware of what they're doing or else they're sort of shoving the side effect to the side when they make this decision and minimizing it in their head to not let them ever really think about uh, the side effect they have on society. So the basic notion here is that when somebody, say, inside a corporation makes a decision, they're kind of weighing the costs and the benefits of that decision. And okay, to learn this, we are going to imagine this as a deliberative strategic move, even though I think most of the time it's not. So here we have a situation, corporations, people, executives inside the corporations are weighing costs and benefits. When they list the, the costs on the board, all of the costs are borne out by people outside the company, by like society more broadly, maybe it's distributed a very tiny negative effect on a lot of people, and the benefits are accrued inside the company. The C-suite people all of the benefits go in their direction. So they're weighing costs and benefits, but because the costs are not borne by themselves, they end up being shoved to the side of the whiteboard and the costs and benefits that are relevant to the decision makers are borne here. Now, you may notice one of the key differences between these two examples is that the market is not like a, a particular group of people sitting down to make a particular cost-benefit decision. It's individuals participating in this market, but the market itself is collective intelligence. It's, it's not, it doesn't depend on any one given actor. Whereas over here, you have actors that have enough power to where their decisions can absolutely be strategic. Whereas these people's decisions can't be quite strategic in the same way because of their lack of power. And another way of framing this is you could say, well, each of these actors in this market could weigh costs and benefits and could think about these people who are experiencing the negative externalities. But for these people, their own decision making is a drop in the bucket. So they're not really personally externalizing harm. Whereas the people over here actually are externalizing harm. Um, it's just that they're, they're choosing not to look in that direction.